It's up to you as Nancy Drew. Hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> you know who it is. It's us. We've never done a playthrough before, so you probably actually don't know who it is. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Julia and Anna. I'm Julia. She's Anna. We're playing Treasure in the Royal Tower, our favorite Nancy Drew game. Also, the first one we ever finished. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. All right, so let's dive right in. Hi there, it's me, Nancy Drew. You're just in time for my latest mystery, <laughs> Treasure in the Royal Tower. <laughs> Choose your difficulty level to start off. I bet we can. If you're new to adventure yeah. games, yeah. Okay. you might well, want to click can. the tutorial yeah, we're button first. For a few uh, tips well, we don't have a great game. setup, so there's a bar here. <laughs> Dear George, great. so much for my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter Eden, how I could <laughs> I love that she snapped that photo. He said he That's probably why know. he looks so mad. Doesn't yeah. that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. All this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. That Ezra Wickford, the original owner, must have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. It's filled with strange, dead-end corridors, for one thing. And I noticed one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. He looks more Tell happy to have his picture taken. To know his How close was as she? <laughs> as he looks on his website. So, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan. But at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Now all I need is a mailbox. I I love uh, Lottie Manella's like inflections in this. It just yeah. makes me so nostalgic. I think it's probably worth mentioning that we've played this game so many <laughs> times that we have all the lines memorized like with the inflections <laughs> that go along with them. Now all I need is a mailbox. Look for castle room card key. Here is your room key. Anna, can you yeah. remember the combination? The combination is five, one, seven. <laughs> That's how she says it later. Yeah. The combination is five, one, seven, but it's not working. And my it favorite like character. The radiator is broken. The radiator. <laughs> the radiator has a lot to say. Yeah. If no one will talk to me, I know the radiator will talk to me. No one's got me, I know the radiator. What happens if you ask for the operator? I don't think I ever mess with the phone in this game. <laughs> oh, nothing. The operator just does not pick up. I'm glad they have an option for operator, even though they don't have anything happen. You gotta make it realistic. It just adds to environment. I like that uh, this phone seems to have changed the alphabet. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. It's, it goes completely as normal, except instead of having Q up here, they put it with Z on, on zero. I think you should call an Easter egg number. Oh, do you remember the Easter egg numbers for this one? There's one that's like Go cats. Oh, do I just write? Do I have to write five, five two three or five five five, or do I just I type it, go cats? I think it might just be go cats. Go. I hope I'm cats. right. Yeah. Ooh. Go cats. 
incredible. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. I don't remember the other ones. Okay, we better find Nancy her mailbox. AKA Dexter. Sassy detective. When we touch things, some of the oil from our skin is left behind on the surface of the thing we have touched. Can you imagine reading a magazine that doesn't have like a million like side articles and advertisements on the page? <laughs> like this is just the article. It just tells you exactly how to use fingerprints to determine keypad access codes. Incredible. Thanks, Karen Clausen. I would subscribe to Sassy Detective. That would be so cool, just how to how to snoop on your friends. <laughs> Oh, you're right. The controls are yeah. pretty bad in this one. Yeah, I think our friends and family who we've had play this game with us, they I think their complaints about the controls were valid. Yeah. <laughs> but man, if that isn't a great elevator animation. Oh, I love the hallway music. Hi, Lisa. Let's chat. Hi, I'm Lisa. Did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Can you believe it? <laughs> Why would it be one of us? Why would it be one of us? Apparently, the only guests who made it here before the blizzard set in are you, me, and Professor Hotchkiss. Uh, and then there's the on-staff suspects. Dexter, our friendly desk clerk, and Jacques Brunet, ski instructor extraordinaire. And then there's our on-staff suspect. <laughs> Who do we care about? Who do we care about? I care about Professor yeah, Hodgkiss, for sure. What do you know about Professor Hodgkiss? Oh my gosh, wait till you hear this. Hodgkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. I was walking past her door earlier, and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. So these earlier games, I think they're a lot of times set up so that you get two dialogue options and they both give you the same response, but one of them gives you like a little bit extra in the beginning. I always yeah. try to pick the one that gives you a little bit extra. <laughs> yeah, the dialogue trees very obviously like all loop back into each other. I also feel like this game, it might have been a lot more interesting if instead of just starting with you talk to this woman in an armchair and she tells you about a robbery. Uh, if this was a later game, they definitely would have realized that it's much more interesting to have Nancy, like, see the robbery or hear the robbery firsthand. <laughs> like, yeah. this is a really bland oh. way to be learning about a, a robbery. Alright. You said she's a professor. Do you know what she teaches? I'm really not sure. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. Lisa is a journalist, so she likes to pepper things like, don't quote me on this, into her conversation. Yeah. Habla espanol? Hardly. I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest, and this place is one of the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? When I was a kid, I was literally so young the first time we played this, I, I didn't know what Nancy was saying when she said habla espanol. I was like, this means nothing. I had no idea. I wonder why he was so antisocial. Creepy, right? I mean, did we stumble onto the set of As the Castle Turns or what? Well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. I love the way that Lisa is supposed to be here on work to be covering the mansions, <laughs> but all we ever see her doing is reading a magazine. Like she's not she's not even writing in a journal. She's just she's just reading. She's just reading it. Oh, if you've ever wondered 
how a guillotine is constructed. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. <clears throat> the most humane and efficient form of punishment is the guillotine. What? Does it say that? It says that that's what people thought. I mean, actually, fun fa we learned about this in uh, world history when I was a junior in high school. They were talking about how before the guillotine, uh, most people couldn't afford like actual headsman's axes that were in really good shape. So they had to use really dull swords and it would take like a really long time to hack the person's head off. And it was really miserable for everyone involved, especially the person who uh, did not get to have their head anymore. So, wow, I think they could have probably <laughs> thought of some alternatives before <laughs> hacking at someone with a dull sword. But that does explain nearly headless Nick from Harry Potter, actually. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can't move this bar. Oh. I can move. Where do we want to move the bar? Um, maybe like this bottom corner, cause there's- Well, no, then we block the dialogue. Mm. And our dialogue options. Uh... Oh, actually, that's way better. Okay, yeah, that's- that's good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, we fixed the bar, so now we can actually read what this says. Before there was a bar over here, and um, we couldn't read all of the very important parts of a guillotine, like the grooves, the bascule, the mouton, <laughs> the crossbar, I the deck lick. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> the deck lick. Yes. Oh, the <laughs> Actually, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know what the accent in French means. I'm gonna assume your pronunciation was perfect. Okay, let's read, let's read the sequel. I like that they couldn't have a history book talk about more than one part of French history. They had to divide them into two Well, parts. to be fair, in this game, when you close the book, you have to page all the way back to the beginning of the book, so I, for one, am grateful that they didn't oh, just yeah. make it one long book. Cause I- see, I can't back away. I have to... Close oh, it now and we back can't away. read about Jean Le I, I think we can. <laughs> Actual cannibal Jean Le <laughs> Born to peasant farm. Jean Le Boeuf became one of the commanders of the French Revolutionary Army at the age of 22. That's pretty young. That's, uh, that's younger than me. Is this the guy who died from mad cow disease? I feel like no, one he of died books... in a war. No! Ironically, the great oh. general was not killed by the enemy soldiers, but from food poisoning that resulted from eating a can of rancid beef. Oh yeah, okay. you're right. So it wasn't mad cow disease, but it was beef that did him in in the end. Can you imagine? <laughs> you fight through wars and what kills you? A hamburger. Oh, that's book two again. I thought it was going to be book three. That's book um, one. I guess there's just one and two. Fantastic. Now we know everything there is to know about French history. I feel like I could pass the AP Euro test. I feel very learned and I took AP Euro. Look at that man. He is just <laughs> staring at us. He stands up very straight. He has great posture. I know, I Makes me Until he actually, does that. we have to slouch so that we can be close to the microphone. Hello, yeah. Miss <laughs> Drew. Did you get squared away upstairs? Oh, all square. All square. I just need a stamp to send this letter, and then I'll be off to explore the castle. Well, I can take your letter, but the mail's not going anywhere for a while. It's snowing like there's no tomorrow out there. So explore all you want. Take the grand tour. But forget about the library. It's off limits. I love the way he talks. Take the grand tour, but forget about the library. Yeah, well, I love that he says library. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of berry? Library. The library. <laughs> off limits. Off limits. Someone vandalized our historic library. Really turned the place upside down. The owner, Miss Lane, she's going to be pretty upset. Why would anyone want to vandalize the library? Why would anyone books? want to vandalize the library? I have no idea. I straightened up in there before check-in yesterday and everything was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. 
books everywhere, and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls. I locked the place up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. <laughs> that's too bad. It sucks to be you. Wow, that's too bad. <laughs> well, can you Back recommend any vacation. other points yeah. of interest for me to check out? Depends on what you're interested in. Our special this week is the crazy old bird upstairs. Just follow your ears. The peck, peck, peck of that typewriter will lead you right to her. You know what? I don't think I've... I, I don't think I've ever picked that dialogue option before. I think I always ask about the vandalism. Can you imagine if you were having a vacation in a hotel and this is how the desk clerk talks about you to other people? <laughs> like, <laughs> whoa, crazy old bird. What do you mean? Crazy old bird? What do you mean? Are you talking about one of the other guests? Well... This Professor Hotchkiss just called me in a terrible flap, saying our room's been robbed. I went up there, but she wouldn't open the door to talk about it. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. So what's she want me to do about it? <laughs> Nancy's really slow on the uptake. I feel like maybe she would have thought that that was an actual bird he was talking about. What strange well, behavior. nothing to do but offer I'm to help. curious. I wonder if she might open the door to talk to me. Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on them for her, but he won't deliver them. Says he's a ski instructor, not a bellhop. I hate to ask this, but if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it might smooth her feathers. Sure would smooth mine. Sir, we offered to talk to her about the robbery, not not <laughs> not run your errands for you, but okay. Uh, Dexter, are you getting really like bird metaphors okay see you mr egan you're a trooper oh i think maybe dexter egan is secretly a bird watcher <laughs> he knows red knot yeah they're, they're part friends. of the they're part of the old man bird watching club you're a trooper is there a more iconic line than that okay this is my room i like that we can't just walk right up to the door it has to give us this horrible diagonal slant in which we can barely see <laughs> that that is in fact our room number. Uh, but there's nothing I want to do in there. Let's find Professor Hotchkiss. We have to just, follow- Yeah, just follow the peck peck peck. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> and again, it <laughs> makes us look at the other door. Oh, she won't even- she won't even acknowledge us if we don't have those boots. If you don't have my boots, do not even look at me. And she's- she's not even answering the door, but suddenly when we're holding the boots, she's just gonna know. She's psychic. She's just gonna know. And there's Marie. Sweet as the smell of fried chicken. Dead but end. There's a dead end. Also, when I was a kid, I was- too young to understand anything about architecture and i was like why why do they act like the castle is weird like i didn't get that it was weird to just have a staircase that goes down to <laughs> nothing i wasn't a big critical thinker as a child <laughs> <laughs> you would build a house with dead ends i would i, I would uh, in fact i did we had a project where we had to uh we had to design houses with like a budget and I remember the instructor was like, this is a very interesting house. Wait, what grade was this? What class? I was like 10, it was like 5th grade. Um, and because, like, I ran out of budget, or I had too much budget, so there was just like a huge, like a room that was just a wall, essentially. <laughs> and they were like, uh, it's like a soundproof wall. Well, there's no Jacques, but at least we can get a free paintbrush. Unknown what we'd want to use that for, but we're just gonna take it. Yeah. Oh, we can open our locker. Yeah, I like that we can see- I like that they have their name cards. You can see that there's also a Sammy and a Mary who work here. Yeah. We will never hear about them. We'll never but... hear about them. Uh, I'm sad Nancy can't go in the sauna in this one. I'm sad she can't get locked in the sauna and almost die a horrific death. Uh, 310. Well, Anna, do you remember the combo? Yes, it's 517. Nice. I'm also not big on remembering things, so. Yeah, that's one of the other things about having played this game a million times is that I remember all the, the codes. The combination is 517, but 
It's not working. Oh no. In the later Nancy Drew games, it's like Nancy receives a death threat and someone tries to kill Nancy right off the bat, and this one is like Nancy's locker combination isn't working. <laughs> yeah, there's a robbery. Yeah. It's too dark. I should take the elevator. I love all the typos in this game. I really do. Uh, I like that there's a window right there, it's too and dark. it offers I should no take the light. Elevator. It is pitch black. We make fun, but we love this game. We love this game. That's why we make fun. The, the games we don't like, we simply will never make fun. We will make miserable. Can you handle the view? Exclamation point. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. There are no. There is. There's that, nothing. Yeah, like that's that like an actual mountain. That's range. Colorado that, or something. That is not. Wisconsin. You can't <laughs> handle the view. With it's actually another typo. It's supposed to be. Can you handle the view, comma Wisconsin question mark? And the answer is no. <laughs> Pepper Cliff Farms. Hmm. We recently went to Wisconsin and went to a fancy cheese shop, so I think Pepper Cliff Farms is supposed to be a play on Pepperidge Farms. Oh, which I don't catch. know if it's based in Wisconsin. Ski Wisconsin. Again, what is with this imagery of a mountain? I don't. I don't think there are mountains there in Wisconsin. There are hills in Wisconsin. I've been skiing in Minnesota, and it's just, like, a hill. It's just a hill. Butter Ridge Ski Resort. Lando Lakes, Wisconsin. They went a little bit heavy on the America's Dairyland theme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also, Ezra Wickford is supposed to be the inventor of chocolate milk in this. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we have to wait a while for Jacques to show up. I think maybe we have to go take a nap. When was chocolate milk invented? Good question. But, uh, did you ever, like, in middle school, hear that, like, edgy theory? I don't know if it's true or not. Oh, that the chocolate was just used to cover up blood in the milk? Yeah. Yeah. I have. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. In middle school, I told one of my friends that, and she got really mad at me. <laughs> we didn't really talk again until high school. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I feel so refreshed. Well, I don't know if that did anything. I just sent it forward like one hour. It's what time is it now? Uh, like four o'clock. I believe that if the ski rentals open until like seven. I didn't look at Jock's time, but I feel like it's something awkward. It's like ten to noon and then like noon, or like two to four. Oh, like he has that. a really long lunch break or something. Yeah, it's... I don't know. I don't think it's a guess. <laughs> Which, I mean, in a castle where you're free to explore the entire area, it seems a little weird that you can't find you off on the In a castle where you have literally three <gasps> guests, I guess you probably don't have to do that much work. Oh. It, he, that man is oh. a robot. Yeah, it's 9 to 12 and 2 to 5. Okay, okay. I, w I was just off by one hour on each end. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle Jacques Brunet. So... What brings you to a beautiful Wisconsin? Because it's not beautiful. He no, I'm talking about the whole bonjour, mademoiselle, je m'appelle Jacques Brunet is in quotes. Oh. I guess it's because it's French. Because it's French, because it's supposed to be in italics, but they can't oh. do italics. Oh yeah, there it is again. Let's speak French. Bonjour, je m'appelle Nancy Drew. I'm here on vacation. What's your excuse? Uh, my excuse? Call him out on being at the worst ski resort ever. Well, this is an yeah. awfully long way from the French Alps. Did you come to Wisconsin for the cheese? I am here for Isabelle, <laughs> mon petit chou. She's an American studying at the university in Madison, and I've asked her to marry me. That is excuse enough to be in Wisconsin, n'est-ce pas? And besides, I am not the first French work of art to end up here. Nancy really made that cheese joke as though it was like a real knee slapper gut butt. Did you come to Wisconsin for the cheese? She's reminiscent of SpongeBob in the April Fools episode. Work of art. What are you talking about? 
I am speaking of the Queen's Tower, of course. It comes from the Chateau Rochemont in a town in France near where I grew up. Didn't you notice it when you drove in? Okay. Oh yeah, I noticed it being different than all the others. Okay, seriously, who thought of this Nancy Drew game? Okay, Nancy goes skiing, but she goes skiing in Wisconsin. And also in Wisconsin, there's gonna be a castle, but part of the castle is from the French Revolution. <laughs> Great. Yes, I did notice. What an amazing feat it must have been to take that thing apart and put it back together. The French are talented people, Nancy. We are good at many things, not just making wine and romance, you know. But tell me, uh, how will you spend your time here, Nancy? Making romance? Is Jacques talking about what I think he's talking about? Oh, I'm just going to wander around and become an expert on this castle. Uh, I should warn you, Dexter is very protective of this place. He does not take kindly to people snooping around where they should not. Uh, what if you were staying at a hotel and you were just like, Yeah, I really want to see this hotel and get to know this beautiful resort. And this then hotel a worker, that is a castle. And then the worker was like, No, you can't. You can't go looking around this hotel where you're staying. <laughs> Don't worry, Jacques. The last thing I want to do is get myself grounded. Can you imagine going to a resort and getting grounded? I didn't even by the get groundskeeper. The <laughs> uh, Nancy, come on, Sava. I need to bring Professor Hotchkiss her boots. Do you have them? Uh, yes, I fixed her boots. Uh, but you should be relaxing by the fire, sipping cocoa, Nancy. Not the running errand for Dexter. Okay, so Jacques is just really determined that we should just be sitting around and doing nothing. Yeah, or maybe we should be making boxes like he Tell is. me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila, I make these hot boxes for keeping secrets safe. I'm I... sure you have many secrets, Nancy. I have to imagine that at some point in the development process of this game, there is going to be something, like, hidden in one of the boxes he made. Because that just feels like a very random, unrelated piece of character information. <laughs> yeah, it, they don't really come back, unless... I mean, it does give us a All reason it to does get is justify the paintbrush, yeah. But still, box is, is a weird thing to be using a paintbrush on. Yeah, why isn't he painting? Yeah. Dexter told me the combination to my locker, number 310 is 517. I tried it, but the locker won't open. Hmm, Dexter must be confused, because I think that is the combination for number 311. Uh, try 311. Okay, so I think that little piece of dialogue brings up a lot of questions, because first of all, it implies that Jacques just knows the combination to every single locker, and second, if he does just know these combinations, why would he give her the the locker that the combination is to instead of giving her the real combination for the locker that she's assigned. This is a really good I'll point. I'll talk to you later. A bientôt. A bientôt. Okay, now we've got the everything. We have the everything. Let's try our locker. Yeah. I think a real life person the working there, there, if you said my locker combination isn't working, this is the one I was given, they'd probably go, oh, let me check on that because I don't have them memorized, and then they'd pull out like a little sheet of paper or a database on the computer and they'd be like, oh no, that's not your combination, this is your combination, instead of being like, oh, that's actually the combination for this locker, so why don't you go open that one? Very fascinated by how hotels work in this Nancy Drew universe. Cause see, you know, you get issues with her opening other people's lockers. Shutter slug? Shutter slug. Flashy. <gasps> oh, Lisa, Lisa used to have a really bad haircut. <laughs> and her name used to be Helen Carp. I love how in that picture she really just looks like she has not brushed her hair at all. Yeah. Her date of birth is in 1976, which at the time this game came out would have made her like in her 20s, but now she would be considerably older than that. That's weird. Uh oh! oh Lisa has <laughs> two passports. Lisa has two really bad looks. 
Oh, it. Oh, that's the oh, date of expiration. Tanya Lee Gooding. Has Tanya a... Lee Gooding. That's her name. Good for her. Okay, we can't steal her expensive camera. Wait. Oh, we can read the <gasps> letter in. Sp oh, she and said she, she didn't speak, speak Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> oh, what man. a horrible twist. She's been lying to us. I, I actually read that whole her. letter once, and it's just like her friend talking about a trip she's on where she's like, First, we went on a walk. Then, we went to a restaurant. Like, and it it's really sounds like a report from like a Spanish woman's class. <laughs> so maybe it's true. Maybe she really doesn't speak Spanish, but she's trying to learn. From her friend who also doesn't. No, that's her homework. She was just pretending oh. to write a letter to herself. <laughs> Alright. Lisa. Let oh, we can't have words with her. She's gone. She's gone. Okay. She knew we found out. And she just she ran. Split. She ran for it. Guilty people don't run. I mean, innocent people don't run. She must be guilty of something. Yes, hello! Is that Jacques with my boots? Actually, it's Nancy Drew. But I do have your boots for you. Oh, good. Uh, boots, fine. Uh, thank you, thank you. Everything is fine. Uh, just leave the boots at the door, please. Hmm. Oh, and it seems I'm out of change. I'll just have to tip you the next time, Mandy. Professor? Oh. It, she's like the only character that blinks. Oh, yeah. But she doesn't move in any other way because the door is over her mouth. Yeah. Um, I think Professor Hotchkiss would have excelled during a uh, quarantine. Like, just, just like, cracks yeah. the door open the tiniest bit and is just like, just leave him there. Just, I'm just fine. leave the door, Dash. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nancy, and I'm happy to leave the boots. But if you're not too busy, Professor... I just like to introduce myself properly and ask you a couple of questions. Questions, yes, yes, and proper introduction sounds lovely, but not now. Maybe later. No, we didn't even give you the boots. No, we have to leave them here. No. And the, my favorite detail of the game is this: how you can hear her take them. I like how and we can hear gone. her take them while we still hear the sound of typing. <laughs> and she's on a typewriter. So I imagine she's like holding the typewriter in one hand as she's typing. She's like typing with the hand she's holding the typewriter in this really convoluted way. And then she opens the door, she reaches out, she grabs the boots, and then just slams the door and does all Can't of this in stop. Like two seconds before Nancy gets the chance to see her face. Can I help you? Well, we did it. I think there's something wrong with my radiator. It hisses, and there's a clanging noise, too. Could you check it out for me? Sorry about that inconvenience, but you're just gonna have to sit tight for a while. I'm the only one on duty while the owner's away, and around here it seems like even if it ain't broke, it still needs fixing. Last time I checked, there were only 24 hours in a day. Hotchkiss called to report that she got her boots. But now I'm told that the light is out in the back stairwell. Could you check the circuit breaker in the basement? And make sure it's working. Dude, you're just at the desk shuffling papers. I'm pretty sure you're not as busy as you claim to be. Let's whine. Some vacation this is turning into. <laughs> no, he doesn't even respond to that. He's, he's, he's like, I don't care. I don't care about your problems, Nancy Drew. Dexter's technique is to pretend to be overworked so that he can make the hotel guests do his work for him. I want to see Nancy leave a... Uh, leave an online review for Wickford Castle. <laughs> it was just like, okay, well, first of all, the, the ski resort, it, the hills look nothing like in the postcard. The postcard <laughs> showed mountains. These were hills. Second, I had to do chores. Made me do his work for him before he would fix my radiator. I like that he really just gives a random guest. Full control of the of the circuit board. Oh, yeah, they don't even they don't even lock the circuit board. What is the meaning of this? Turn them back on. Turn them back on. Yeah, Jacques. Turn them back just on. go ahead and be mad. Hey! I could sit here for an hour and Jacques would never do anything. 
Like, he would never come turn them back on himself. Well, he couldn't get here because it's too dark. Then He's just stuck in one place until on these... you turn the lights on. Huh. Okay. Well, um... I flipped everyone. Let's, let's see if that worked. This is actually my technique for, uh, changing the circuits oh, in the house, too. It did work! Let's make sure the power is, is on in our room, though, because that's- you can actually turn the power off in your own room, and then you won't be able to use the alarm clock. You're stuck in one day forever. Oh, break. but you didn't break it! I didn't break it! I did it right! Actually, we never snooped in Nancy's luggage. I think Wickford Castle would do well to label the circuit breakers. <laughs> and also not have the guests handle them. Uh, what if you went to a hotel and like one of the selling points was we're gonna restore the 1920s elevator to its original condition. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's it? Is it not its original condition now? It's pretty old. To me. I think that's just the game's way of telling you the elevator's important. And old. Yeah. Wait. What to do on You must have had quite an imagination or a limited budget or no talent for architecture. Okay, it's listing stuff you can do while you're here. You can lose yourself in the castle. You can... You can learn the story of the French Tower. That's listed as one of the things you can do. <laughs> and then it just gives you a paragraph, so then you're done with that one. You can visit the library, but the library is closed. And then they have outdoor attractions. Oh, you can go to Butter Ridge! You can... And you can ski. Hike to Butter Lover's Lake. Wildflowers, lady slippers, skunk, skunk cabbage, <laughs> devil's paintbrush, butterfly weed, and toad flax. No matter how you spend your time at Whitford Castle, you're bound to have an adventure. Um, it actually sounds quite boring. Uh, fantastic. I can't wait to get some skunk cabbage. Oh, we have so many attractions. You can walk around, you can go skiing on our hill, or you can look at skunk cabbage. Okay, some of those flowers were real, so is skunk cabbage real? I'm gonna look it up later. I'm gonna look it up now. I'm gonna read the breakfast, lunch, and dinner menu. I like that they don't seem to have anything for breakfast, but and yet this does en encapsulate breakfast. Yeah, if you're- baby rack ribs can keep breakfast in Wisconsin. That's actually very true. We make fun of Wisconsin too. <laughs> Eternity <laughs> of garlic croutons. Better than nothing broccoli surprise. No, they serve a vegetable. They serve a vegetable. I they they're also really going hard here on the like Midwest unhealthy food yeah. trope. Like so we have baby back ribs, we have Fried bologna sandwich on white bread with crushed potato chip sprinkles. Um, my favorite is the white cheddar ice cream logs. <laughs> yeah, you know, in Wisconsin they have cheese flavored ice cream and that's just how it is. I want to go on the Odyssey to Banana Land. I like how this me uh, menu, Julia, totally skewed your idea of what the word enlightenment <laughs> meant. <laughs> it does! Again, I played this game when I was very young, and I thought enlightenment was like a light dessert. Like, I thought a Danish was enlightening. I thought it was like the feeling you got when you ate a nice light dessert because of this menu item. Ew. I never noticed the sugar-crusted rhubarb jerky. 
That doesn't sound good. My brain always just like automatically finished it as like a rhubarb pie, but oh my god, it's jerky. Okay, some of these items sound like they could be good, like chocolate mayhem, keto enlightenment lime pie, others like the jerky, just no. The, the white cheddar ice cream log, I have mixed feelings about because I love white cheddar and I love ice cream. And I actually feel like if anyone can pull off a cheddar ice cream, it's Wisconsin. Yeah. So if I was actually in I Wisconsin, might try it. yeah, and I saw that on a menu, I would say I'm gonna try it. But yeah. Although if I saw it on a menu that also had the jerky crusted rhubarb, mm. then I might say no thank you. And then I'd be like, oh, so these people are just making money off of novelties and they're not I necessarily think, good. I think the menu is also a graphic design is my passion moment. <laughs> <laughs> just has like kind of faded pictures of food in the back. Dexter's gone, let's snoop. I like that uh, none of the menu items were categorized in any way. The broccoli was like lumped in with all of the full meals. Was I looking up skunk cabbage? Yeah. Is it real? Skunk cabbage is a common name for several plants and might refer to... Several Asian plants. skunk cabbage, which grows in Asia, or Western skunk cabbage, which grows in North America, or Eastern skunk cabbage, which grows in Eastern North America, <laughs> or the California corn lily. Corn. And it looks kind of like a gourd. <laughs> <laughs> Not a cabbage. This is what it looks like. It does look like a gourd. Okay, let's- The Wikipedia article for skunk cabbage is extremely short. Uh, that's the disambiguation page? It's not, Isn't it? Though. Oh, it's not! You're right. It links to other pages. But it's not skunk cabbage disambiguation. Okay, um, anyway. Get Brunei to fix prof boots. We can Snow so plows? Are like, we... Oh, we're stuck in a snowstorm here? Maybe we should get some snow plows. Are we to believe that Dexter is doing all this stuff by just standing and shuffling these papers at his desk? Maybe that's why he's gone right now. No, he's gone right now because it's oh, eight o'clock. Yeah. To be fair, a lot of these things look like they could be a phone call. Oh, that's true. Change bulbs in the tower. Keep searching! Get boots back to prof. <laughs> Subtle. Is, is change bulbs in the tower talking about light bulbs in the royal tower? Uh, I think it might be change the light that was out in the stairwell, because that's like sort of a tower. But, but maybe it is light bulbs breaking. in the royal tower. But that brings up a lot okay, of questions. Okay, but wait a minute. Because that is those from... light bulbs, and why did they install... Well, I guess... I guess it makes sense they would have installed yeah. light bulbs when they brought it in, but... Yeah. But if no one goes up there, then why? Why would they? Let's look at one of these little drawers. <gasps> Ooh, freaky! Okay, I think that's all there is to look at there. Can we... We can't look at anything on Lisa's desk. No. Yeah, we don't know where Lisa's room is either, you just... I was gonna say you can't snoop Lisa, but we did open her locker. Yeah, that's true. So actually, we've snooped her more than anyone else. And actually, we should really, uh, make it... Make it daytime so that we can talk to her about that. It's pretty important. Probably. Yeah, we don't know. We've never played it before. Uh, well, actually, honestly, I can't really remember if that really goes anywhere. It's just, like, kinda something to do to I spread think you're suspicion. Right. <laughs> I think it... Oh. Uh -oh. oh, dear. Oh, no. It's stuck. Well, whatever would we do? Okay. Let's take a moment to appreciate Nancy's pure physical prowess. That she can jump all the way up here and hoist herself out. But she can't make this jump. I'm not sure if I can make it. Try. Okay, I really want to get the second chance. Try. So. Okay. Here goes. It totally looks like she could've definitely could have made it. Um, what if that was actually a trick? Like, 
if she was like, oh no, I don't know if I can make it, but then you have to make her do it anyway, and she actually does make it. Oh yeah. That would be not ideal. Alley-oop! Alley-oop! Okay. Ooh, these are the strange noises they talk about. I feel like I never actually hear the strange noises, because I'm never, like, wandering around at night in this game. I think the first time I played it, I thought that that sound was, like, the sound of the elevator falling. Oh! <laughs> like, we made it out just in time. But I think it's a little bit quiet for that, actually. Uh, it's supposed to be, like, the middle of the night, isn't it? It's... Stain okay, it's stain 815. Stained but... glass is always bright, but it's the middle of winter. Yeah. So... Yet another dead end. Dead end? Quotation marks. Listen to how squeaky that door is. Like, again, this didn't register as anything off of me. I was like, yeah, okay, there's a door there, it opens into a wall. Why is that weird? Julia designed this castle. <laughs> the kids don't understand anything, man. Julia and Ezra, Ed, Ezra Wickford would get along really well, I think. I feel like the noises are loudest down here. You may be right. All I right. want to get the Dexter Egan noises. Oh, yeah. Like when you walk by him and he burps. Cough, burp, yeah. yeah. Why is that a thing? I don't know, but it's when you're walking, like, along here. I think. As Lisa would say, don't quote me on that. Okay. It's like he has not fixed our radiator it's yet. It's time to take a nap over this horrible clanging and hissing. I wish Nancy could When I sleep from 8.30 in the evening to 10 a.m., I too call it a nap. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. That's not really how I would describe that sound. Okay, Lisa, we've got a bone to pick with you. And, I, well, I don't think can't take the elevator because it got stuck. It's locked. Yeah. Good thing we fixed the stairwell. We probably have to talk to Dexter too and tell him we returned the boots. Yeah. Oh, uh, he knows we returned the boots. Oh, does he? Did we already say that? Yeah. Yes. I don't want to pester you, Mr. Egan, but oh, yeah, we should the radiator. About Thanks for dealing with the elevator, circuit breaker. Okay, so that he'll we're tell really us making progress it. here, kid. Having to climb up so the you roof. go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her phone. Dexter, it's a little. uh, You missed the boat. She didn't get dinner last night, and now it's ten in the morning. <laughs> I like that. I could potentially cycle through days of this, and she would just never get her dinner. What's she gonna have for breakfast? Anchovy heaven salad with an eternity of croutons? Eternity of garlic. No problem, boss. Oh. So what does croutons. Hotchkiss want for dinner? It was it was eternity of garlic croutons. Uh, I oh, don't right. care. Oh, um, I haven't asked her, her yet. Hmm. That's a shame. Yeah, because we didn't even leave here yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should have asked her last night when it was actually floors. dinner time. I had to climb out the top, and I just barely made it up to the floor above. Do you think you'll be able to fix it? Well, I doubt it's broken. I'll check the power switch in the basement. Glad you're Will okay. You? But don't go climbing around the elevator shaft anymore. It's dangerous in there. So, how long have you been working here? A while. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Love that we're like, oh, I got trapped in the elevator and I had to climb out the <laughs> ceiling, and he's like, well, it's Don't do it again. It's not broken. <laughs> Hi there, how's it going? Okay. We can't even talk to her about all the fake IDs we found. What do you know about Jacques Brunet? Didn't you watch the last Winter Olympics? He's France's big cheese of skiing. He holds the record for the 500 meter slalom, but he totally choked at the games. I guess he's washed up now, but at least his looks haven't gone down the tubes. So tell me more about the life of a photojournalist. It must be very glamorous at times. Well, there's nothing glamorous about the pay, I can tell you that much. Oh, okay, that had to be like a segue. 
there was a little mix-up with the lockers, and I accidentally opened yours. Yeah, and? <laughs> yeah, and? Okay, and? So what? Yeah, she just doesn't care. Yeah, and? And? Does your job take you to exotic, <laughs> far-off places? Uh... Nancy's like doesn't. Seem it to seems know what you have more than one identity, life. Lisa. I'm just, just wondering if you are who you say you are. A savvy photojournalist always carries a couple of alternate identities, Nancy. When you're working under deadline, you don't always have time to play by the rules. I'm sure you know what I mean. Isn't there a way you can make Lisa mad in this game and get like stuck forever because she won't talk to you? Oh yeah. I don't- I don't remember how you I feel that. like this game is just riddled with bugs. But they're very hard to get. Does your job take you to exotic, far-off places? Well, there is a lot of travel. Too bad I'm so useless with foreign languages. We- we saw your letter, Lisa. You- you can at least understand a kindergartner's level of Spanish. I'm dying to find a way into that tower. Where do they usually hide the secret entrances in weird old Midwestern mansions? <laughs> I guess I should know, shouldn't I? Too bad most of the places I've covered aren't any weirder than imitation butter. I wish you'd hurry up and find it, though, so we can check it out. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Later, Nancy. At least, I like that Lisa has just decided that she and Nancy are friends, and they will go do fun things together, while also never like going to find Nancy or talk talking to Nancy on her it's own not. initiative. Never getting out of her chair. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. You know what? Um just in case this decides to crash. Oh yeah. <laughs> also this <laughs> might <laughs> Okay, story time. This is not the first time that we've tried to make a playthrough of this game. The first time was when we were kids. We tried to make a playthrough. We got like maybe a half an hour in when I said, Hey, Julia, you should save the game so we don't lose our progress. And Julia was like, Oh, yeah, okay. But instead of saving, she accidentally loaded a game. So we lost all our progress. And then we spent the next like 10 minutes of the playthrough arguing <laughs> and or just sitting in like angry silence. Yeah, we were just like so mad, but still playing the game. And then. <laughs> As you can imagine, we did not finish. Uh, so, you know, like ten years later. Yeah, we'll we decided we'll give it another shot. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Yeah. It was just like an argument of, I can't believe you accidentally pressed load. Well, it's your fault because you said <laughs> you we should save. save. <laughs> Good defense. <laughs> ah, here's those stairs. I want to fix the elevator so that we can take it. Yeah, and we know Dexter's not gonna fix it. Yeah. When has Dexter ever done anything for us? Clean elevator reset. That should do it. Again, anyone can pull the elevator reset switch. Yeah. This- it's not even- the circuit breaker isn't even, like, in an employee's only area. It's just out by the- the ski equipment rental. It area. has a lock, but it's not locked. Yeah. Negligence. I love that this is specifically where I have to go to back away. Hotchkiss, what do you want for dinner here at 11 o'clock in the morning? Ugh, Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions. Who is it? Hi, Professor. I thought you might be getting hungry in there. You Could I really a dinner out order of your for you? Room for like a day no or two. hard to think of food candy <laughs> when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules to keep me going. But sound tell good. Baxter that I am developing a powerful craving for couscous. Yes, couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, Fanny. 
Oh, I don't think couscous is on the menu. Also, Just, we can make a fried bologna sandwich. Where is Professor Hotchkiss planning to get the money to tip her? She's not going anywhere. The castle ATM that she won't leave her room to go to? Yes. The professor says she has a hankering for, um, couscous. Couscous? Never heard of it. Tell her to order something off the menu. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. <laughs> this would really be an interesting vacation experience, to say the least. Is that my couscous already? Uh, no, let's talk about Hi, the robbery. Professor. It's Nancy again. Hoping you might be ready to talk to me about the robbery. Oh, can't talk now, dear. The energy globules have brought on a carbo rush. I'm a little out of my head. It's desperate for protein all of a sudden. Again, I don't think I've ever gotten that dialogue option. Yeah, I think Is that when my I play it, I just the same options. <laughs> Look, we can just say the exact same thing again. Hey, Do it. It's Nancy again. Hoping you might be ready to talk to me about the robbery. You toy with me while my belly rumbles? Why? <gasps> Why? I've never gotten that before. Is that my couscous already? Say it again. Hi, Professor, it's Nancy <gasps> again. Hoping you might be ready to talk to me about the robbery. My blood sugar plummets. Please see to my dinner. <gasps> I like How many she's, times? She's talking like a Miette, the cat from that tweet. <laughs> you toy with Hotchkiss while my tummy rumbles. Oh, Is that my couscous already? Jail for a thousand years! Hi, Professor. It's Nancy again. Hoping you might be ready to talk to me about the robbery. Uh oh, now she's really mad. Get with the program here, Brandy. I need sustenance. Nourishment. G R U B. Ah! Okay, that was like. That was kind of scary. That came before it. I it thought felt it was like gonna she crack. Was, she was like so angry. She's gonna like rush out, punch you in the face. I can't believe this has never happened before. Is that my couscous already? Hi, Professor. It's Nancy again. Hoping you might be ready to talk to me about the robbery. Get with the program here, Brandy. Sorry. I need okay, sustenance, like nourishment. G R U B. That was so fun. I didn't know she could get so mad. I didn't know either. Okay, now we have to tell her that we don't even have the stuff she wants. Oh boy. Is that my couscous already? Sorry, Professor, but there's no couscous in the house. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, oh be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you, Tata? I love the implication that she has menus for other hotels. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, oh, that's we right, have we have the menu. menu. Sorry. I'm just still thinking about that dialogue. I, I, did you get the menu? I want her to order the white sure cheddar did. ice cream. How about cream opening log? the door so I can yeah, give it to you? I want the white no. cheddar oh, ice cream you're log. a sneaky one. Just slip it under the door, please. Not easy. No funny stuff. Hotchkiss, you are gonna love the year 2020 when it uh, comes. Oh, baby back ribs. Yes. Oh, chili cheese dog. Uh, 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 fried bologna sandwich. Uh, I am not usually much of a meat eater, but uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, please. Uh, chicken, that is. Cluck, cluck. Also, as a child, I did not understand that 50 was an obscene amount of drumsticks for one woman to order. Sure. 50 drumsticks. Whatever makes you happy. Rock and roll, dear. Well, to be fair, nobody really, like, reacts to that. They're yeah. They're just like, okay, 50 drumsticks, here you go. <laughs> Nancy does sound a little surprised when she's talking to Dexter about it, but yeah, you're right. Can I help you? The professor has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay then, drumsticks we got. And they're just like, Oops. okay. But I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Will you tell him? And then take the rest of the day off, kid. Your radiators is oh. good as fixed. 
oh, I can take the rest of the day off on my vacation. On my vacation at the place where I okay. don't work. See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. <laughs> God, so rude. Hi there, how's it going? I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted. I have nothing to say also, to you, Lisa. love how this castle clearly doesn't have a kitchen. They just, like, pull stuff out of the freezer and just toss it in the microwave. They, they'll they give their- they'll serve you your lovely craft mac and cheese. Yeah. They'll- yeah, it's like a- the, the salad is like a prepackaged salad. The fried bologna sandwich. I don't even know what they're doing for that. Yeah. Oh, uh, is it his lunch break? What time is it? It's oh, he doesn't come back 30. until two. Darn it! You know what that means? We have to do. We have to do exactly what Dexter told us not to do, and that's crawl around in the elevator shaft. Oh, we can get to the ladder now. Yeah. Love or, this leg. Or can we? <laughs> uh oh. It's a good thing you saved, I guess. Yeah. Let's hope this pulls through. I mean, worst comes to worst, we get to hear Hotchkiss's great dialogue. I was gonna say, again. Hotchkiss is gonna, like, crawl out of that vent <laughs> shaft and just kill us <laughs> on sight. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna save again. <laughs> just in case. Uh, for the record, I have no idea why the title is Felt Cute Might Be Eve. I think, I think Eve is short for Eve. I have no idea. That was just the name of my last saved game. So. I love how you can just climb straight to the ceiling and there's nothing there. Why is there even a why is there even a ladder there? Good question. Why did they make all those extra ladder rungs? <laughs> Ugh. Crawling around in air ducts is like that would be, like, the most unpleasant experience, I think. I think I'd be afraid of, like, I don't know, someone turning on the heat and it being, like, way too hot in <gasps> And there. frying you to death? Oh my god. Yeah, or, or, like, not being able to breathe. Like, I think that happens. Oh, that happens, that happens in, in a different the deadly device. Games. And Spoilers. that's probably where the fear comes from. Yeah. Oh, the library. The, I'm sorry, Anna, the what? The library. The library. It's vandalized. Okay. Oh no. Uh oh. Run. Hide. Get back. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. That, that was close. That really sounded like he came in. Oh, he oh got, god, he got stuck. He got stuck. <laughs> okay, okay, I hear you. Darn you, crazy old man. I know you hid that thing around here somewhere. No, oh, he's doing his job. Yeah. He's shuffling papers. The least you could have done was left me a hint. He really does march. Uh, yeah. I think that's I don't have for time to clean this up. He also has the same body type as Lewis from the last game. I think pretty much all the men have the same body type in the early Nancy Drew games. Yeah. Okay, another thing I didn't really put together as a kid is that all the books are on the floor. Because the library was vandalized, I I don't know if I didn't know what vandali vandalize meant, or if I just thought it was a messy, messy li library. Alas, what a cursed night! That's how I... That's, yeah, I come home and I write it in my diary and I have a bad day. Oh look! Commander LeBuff is back here. Oh, awesome! Warn him about bad hamburgers. Well, he's not gonna warn him because he's the enemy in this book. Uh oh. There's a hole in the wall. Uh, it looks like someone like clawed it. Like instead of like punching a hole in the wall, it looks like it was clawed. Yeah, or like they used a knife. Sure is dusty. Sure is dusty. 
Sure is dusty. Sure is dusty. I feel like that just like has a rhythm to it. I always like to click it multiple times. Sure is dusty. Sure is dusty. Sure is dusty. Are those things on the desk? Are those like dust bunnies or are they parts of wall? I was thinking they were dust bunnies, but they might be parts of wall. Or they might be like pieces of paper that were torn out of the books and crumpled up, like if they were looking for something in a book. Sure is dusty. Wisconsin. On Wisconsin. Beverage, milk. I'm sorry, do any other states have their own beverage? Maybe. Interesting. I also didn't know that states had, like, an insect. Or a, oh yeah, honeybee. Or a dance or symbol. Or a piece. domestic animal and First, a wildlife okay, animal. There's animal, wildlife animal, and domestic <laughs> animal. I feel like this is taking some liberties. I'm not sure this is true. I bet it is. I think states have things like okay, that. Okay, but it, all states have like a state butterfly, don't they? But this one has a state insect. I'm gonna look up other state insects and see if they exist. Okay, I'm gonna state keep snooping the library. Insect. The library. Um, the Colorado state insect is the hair steak butterfly. See, yeah, I thought they were usually, like, butterflies. But I guess it's not a state insect. Oh, that just opens up, huh? list of U.S. state insects. Only 48 states have state insects, and some have more than one. But you're right that a lot of them are butterflies. Good thing we can just open up this globe. Negative 15, 10, negative 5. And it's the mechanism we just saw. Excellent. They use that sound effect in Message in a Haunted Mansion, too, and it's very bothersome to my ears. Squeaky. Yeah. Marie was horrified by the TR's extra extravagance and refused to wear it. My crown of ruination. Same. I thought that it was supposed to be Hotchkiss's hot take that Marie Antoinette was, like, innocent and not about that life. But then we have this factual book saying, like, oh yeah, everyone knows As that we all know. Marie Antoinette hated her extravagant crown. Uh, yeah. We're really lagging. We're really lagging here. Um, we might have to stop this recording and set up a new one. I wonder if it's not, uh, lagging because the recording's been going on for a while. I thought you could find Hotchkiss's book in here. I think you can. Look near the painting, maybe? Mm, maybe it's toward the back of the library? 
you can, like, go... This is the factual book. Mm. I'm sure it's in here. I thought so, too. Oh. Here it is. Purple Hearted Queen by Hotchkiss. I love these, like, children's illustrations in her, like, factual history book. Yeah, it looks like, like someone was doodling in their journal. Marie Antoinette's favorite color was purple. I like that it bolds the words loyalty, dignity, wisdom, and truth. And like purple. <laughs> As any actual book does. Uh, yeah, that's not like it, a textbook it feels teaching like a you children's terms. history book. All right, let's find out what opened in that passage. 